choosing our top play of summer and awarding the our cameras caught the Clippers arriving at their building and coming through the tunnel with a lot of style and confidence. The bright lights and tall buildings of... And we've got... To Kevin, thanks very much. Sure is. Thanks, DA. Well, the outcome tonight, Greg, could come down to the big men up front. You know, versatility will be key. The front court that can be physical but also pass it and stretch the floor will likely be the victor. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. The backcourt is Murray and Harris. Millsap and Jokic, the big men. And it's Porter at the small forward position. And for the Clippers, the Williams out there with Paul George. And it's Ibaka. Then it's Junior. And it's Leonard in at the small forward. Here's Junior. And the layup's good off the glass. And when you get past the shock of trading Cobb, it, you can examine Junior's game. He's been nothing short of amazing all season long. It's easy to see why they trust the future of the franchise to this kid. And they took a big leap off the deep end with Junior, didn't they? But he's done great. Everything you could hope for to instill confidence in the decision they made. George passes to Junior. Nice D from Porter. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for Denver. Murray for three. Again, the miss by Murray. For Los Angeles, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Back to George. Junior with it. Millsap's there. Leonard, the pass to Junior. And Junior throws it down. Well, we know Kawhi will always attract lots of defensive attention, which puts him in a position to find his teammates pretty fast. For Denver, they've gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Jokic, one up, one down, two points with his first shot this game. Boy, after missing three straight, they finally get one to go down. To the inside, here's Junior, and Junior throws it down. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And it goes down two points. And with long arms and great strength, Millsap can make plays bigger than his actual size. And after establishing himself as a key player in Denver, Gary Harris has played, trailing off the last couple seasons. Um, Greg, what's your read there? I really feel like, Kevin, injuries have played a part, uh, an extended cold streak, but the Nuggets didn't lose faith. He, he helped build their success over the years, and they consider him a key piece moving forward as well. Junior dishes to Ibaka. And what a unique career Serge Ibaka has had. Some incredible totals for him over the course of his career. That's right, Greg. I mean, I think people would be shocked to know Serge Ibaka was the first player ever to make 500 threes and have 1,500 blocks. Hard to imagine nobody had ever accomplished that feat. Give credit to Ibaka. He changed his offense and added the three ball. Porter, no luck. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Here's Junior. Rebound by the Nuggets. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. And, guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger, and we really saw it play out on the offensive end. And what surprised me was how easy they made it look. It seemed like they got something out of every possession. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Jokic kicks to Millsap. And another miss by Denver. Clippers leading by six. Junior the pass to George. An easy two points on the layup. That's not an easy play. Paul George is an extraordinary player. Keeps his eye on the bucket at all times. Murray surveying the D. The 17-footer. The shot misses. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Not a single shot has gone down this period. It is the very definition of ice cold. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. 
Here's Jokic. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. Well, we know, Greg, that Jokic is such a unique talent at that center position. Young player already top ten in career triple-doubles. How about the most triple doubles ever by a foreign player? You think of the great skilled European big man, Jokic, arguably the most skilled of them all. The Clippers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Right now, we're seeing more athletes willing to talk about mental challenges, be it depression or anxiety. And you know, Doris, the NBA is no exception. How encouraging do you find that? Well, I think that whether NBA players or professional athletes in any sport know it or not, they are looked to as examples, as role models. And so I think everybody wins in this situation, Kevin. The players, the fans themselves, many of whom are dealing with the similar challenges. So, listen, life is not easy. Wherever you can get help, go and take it. I love this initiative from the NBA. And Jokic gets it to go. The assist by Millsap. Jokic has got six. Boy, you love what this guy is doing right now. He's taking smart shots, shooting a high percentage, starting to cook. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Here's Harris. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. For Denver, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. A different look for the Clippers. Zubats is checked in for a bucket. Morris comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Lou Williams. The Nuggets also changing it up. Bowl, he's checked in for Millsap. Martin comes in for Porter. And Monte Morris subbed in for Jamal Murray. Martin passes to Morris. And he makes that one. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. And it's Junior missing. The Nuggets trail by four. Launches the three, and Will Barton with the three. Nice little run here to shrink that deficit, but can they get over the hump? Oh! My goodness. Uh, there's a real knack for understanding when a guy is uncovered, and Paul George's court awareness on display right there. Beautiful. Morris passes to Jokic. Can't bank that one in. Clippers leading by three. Here's George, and George with the stuff. Well, you love the tenacity. Paul George cannot be contained when he gets near the ten. Morris passes to Jokic. Kicks it to Barton. Morris looking over the floor. Shot clock at five. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. Bull can't hit. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Junior dishes to George. Junior the pass to Zubats. Inside. And Junior throws it down. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves them just fine. Barton outside. Clippers leading by seven. Out left to the wing. Beverly for three. And that massive wingspan coming in. I'm deep. And it's Jokic missing. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. They beat the Nuggets during their last encounter in Denver. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score at the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. So out there for the Nuggets right now, Bill Zapp and Jokic, the big men. The backcourt is Murray and Harris. And it's Porter and at the three slot. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Junior, in his last outing against the Suns, was outstanding. 
picked up 58 points, and that was just the start of it. He wound up with a triple-double in what was quite a display for him. His numbers were off the charts. He was unguardable, and he knew it. He took advantage of it. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, David, in stretches, he was absolutely dominant. Craig, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. Well, when you're coming off a game like he had, you know the difference tonight. They're going to load up against him. They're going to try to take him out of his rhythm early. Here's Junior. The three from George. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got four assists in the game. You have got to be aware of Paul George. He is a knockdown shooter from deep. Pass to Jokic. Over Junior. And that one goes long. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but they're... Oh, oh. What about that dunk? Oh, that was oh. special. My goodness. Well, the threat to score is real when Lou Williams has the ball, but he uses that to set up his pass game. Jokic. No good on the three. Clippers leading by seven. Jokic with the steal. Murray with it. He picked up 27 points in the last win against Detroit. Leonard against Porter. And it's Murray that time on the assist by Porter. Porter's got his fourth assist in this one. against Murray. That one falls. Yeah, this guy is just a professional scorer. Lou Williams gets to the mid-range. Easy money, folks. Denver calls timeout. Boy, your alma mater, UNLV, Greg, has produced some great NBA players over the years. I mean, so many great names. No, no doubt about it. Listen, I, I got a special place in my heart for my former teammates, Larry Johnson and Stacey Ogden. Right. Uh, but also guys like Sean Marion. You go back to Reggie Theus, who was a tremendous player. And, and right now in the league, you, you got Kim Birch, dunk champ Derek Jones, and an up-and-comer in, in Christian Wood. Good mention. Bowl, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Morris comes in for Porter. A 15-footer. Serge Ibaka pulls it in. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. This one for three. Junior kicks to George. Junior the pass to Williams. Down low. Clock at four. And Junior throws it down. Boy, Lou Williams with the vision. Pretty pass. Morris. Seven points in the game. Out to Harris. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Here's Jokic. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. A nightly double-double threat. Jokic is also an exceptional playmaker for a guy that size. And the Clippers making a change here. Zubats is checked in. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect in line so far here in the second quarter. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Pass to Junior. Got a piece of it. Out of bounds, Clippers ball as the Clippers keep possession. Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. Andrew Beverly, he's checked in for Lou Williams. And Denver with a change here, too. Martin is checked in. Morris passes to Jokic. Martin outside. And the rejection by Zubats. Junior with it. Now defended by Jokic. Junior. And it's sent back by Jokic. And check out Jokic using not just his length, but also the timing. 
the offensive player better think twice next time. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Junior's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. George, no good. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. To the paint, here's Junior, and Junior throws it down. Well, I'll tell you this, if the defense collapses, if it makes a mistake momentarily, Beverly has the kind of basketball IQ to take advantage. Murray, the pass to Bowl. Over Junior. Offensive rebound. He can't get that one to fall. Los Angeles leading by nine. To the middle. Here's Leonard. It's deflected. Now, here's Junior. He's tightly guarded. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Got a hand on it. And he's able to get it back. And good that time. Well, this quarter has been all about this guy. He is trying to close the gap in the score. Loads it up for Junior. And I don't care what his size is. You cannot forget to box him out. He's just got a nose for the ball, and he is fearless in attacking the glass. Passes it to Jokic. A jump hook. And that one hits back iron. And so we conclude the first half. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. You look at Junior in this game, he's been everywhere. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. That takes a level of aggression and a level of focus, and he has brought it all night thus far. They've got Paul George. Ivica Zubas is out there with Junior. Then it's Williams. And it's Leonard in at the free spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. And Paul George, Doris, kind of a late bloomer coming up in high school. His older sister used to give him the business on the blacktop. Uh, of course, eventually, he found his stride, and the rest is history. It took some encouraging from older sis and his high school coach who actually had to threaten him with running suicides to get the guy to shoot more. And think about it. This guy plays his college basketball at mid-major Fresno State. That's really where he got onto the NBA radar. For Los Angeles, they have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. Serge Ibaka, he's jacked in for the Clippers. Harris kicks to Jokic. And there's the call on Lou Williams. That's his first foul. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Here's Jokic. And stolen by Junior. That's what we call intelligent defense. Just put himself in a position to make a play on that kick out. Here's Murray. He's got 11. The pass to Jokic. Porter kicks to Murray. Denver passing it around. Here's Jokic. Misses off the left iron. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the board has been impressive. The shot by George, no good. The Nuggets trail by 12. Here's Porter. The rebound by Ibaka. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. For Los Angeles, they have scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. That free throw good from Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard with a very analytical approach to us to the game. Studies angles, movement, trying to groove in on perfect mechanics. I mean, he does it all. Yeah, Kev, that goes back to his favorite high school subject, which was math. And think about how 
precisely he has built his game. He started at the free throw line, then went to the low post, and now has added the range game. Very analytic approach. Greg, if you're a small market team, how do you convince Stump that you've drafted and developed to stay and re-sign? It's a great question, Kevin. I actually think in a lot of ways it's easier today because you can be box office. You can be a, a superstar in a small market and have the name recognition because of the era we, we play in. And so I, I think the biggest way to keep them there is to build a championship caliber team around them. I think that is your saving grace. If you can prove to them that you can build a championship caliber team, I don't really think that there is a reason to want to leave. It's a solid blueprint. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Well, it's been an express lane to the Ram. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Kennard, he's checked in for Los Angeles. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Outside, Porter. And they've got to get back to what they were doing in that first half if they want to somehow win this game. The offense has gone stagnant. Now the Clippers with it. They've outscored them 10 points to two during this run. Junior the pass to Jackson. Offensive rebound. Feeds to Junior. Outside Jackson. From outside off the mark. The Nuggets trail by 17. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Inside, Ibaka, and Ibaka slams it in. And how about Ibaka getting off the floor for that dunk? What a great finish. Murray with it. It's Ibaka picking him up. Murray, the pass to Hartenstein. That's tipped. Porter with the steal. And now the Nuggets. Fast break. Dozier can't get it to go. Clippers leading by 17. Junior dishes to Ibaka. Pass to Junior. Now Morris fires the three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Morris has got eight points. Well, you can tell that Mr. Morris doesn't lack for confidence. This guy is ready to shoot as soon as it touches his hands. 11 feet away. Dozier can't get it to go. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 15-4 run. Junior the pass to Ibaka. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, what you love about Serge Ibaka, yes, he has tremendous size and reach and great athleticism, but he plays his role to a T. Denver making a switch here. The Nuggets trail by 21. Martin passes to Bull. And the shot is good. Bull's got his first two points. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Pass to Ibaka. Morris outside. In the corner, Kennard with it. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And Ipaka slams it in. Well, overall, they're the team getting the better looks here in this second half. And I think what's happening is they're getting their shots within the flow of their offense, and you can clearly see the difference. Murray, the pass to Hartenstein. Hole with it. He's against Morris. Lock at six. Goes back up. No good on that one. Clippers leading by 21. Junior dishes to Ibaka. And he converts the layup. Ibaka's got seven points here in this quarter. Well, how about the frame and the concentration of Serge Ibaka? What an interior finish that was. Passes it to Murray. That's tipped. 
Jr. with it. Well guarded by Murray. And there's the pass to Kennard. Down low. Here's Jr. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. Junior's got 33 points. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Here's Hartenstein. Here's Bull. And it's blocked. Here's Jackson. And Bull pulls it down. Bull's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Martin passes to Murray. Morris outside. Pulls it up. The Nuggets with another miss. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. And Junior gets it to go on the assist by Jackson. And now that's 35 points for Junior. Denver's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Pass to Hartenstein. They need this one. Here's Bull. Tries again. Morris with the rebound. Morris has got four rebounds now tonight. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. you got to love his hustle. Leaving the defense no time to react. The finish and transition nice and easy. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Zubox is checked in for Ibaka. Leonard comes in for Marcus Morris. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Luke Kennard. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Jackson. Denver calls timeout. And starting to send guys to the line way more than they need to. Let's get some good position defense going here. That should be the emphasis and get away from the sloppy fouls. Los Angeles on D. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Bull can't hit. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. First one falls for him. And both free throws, good for Junior. Really getting after the defense since the break. He's so hard to keep off the line when he pushes the action. Morris passes to Millsap. He dishes it to Barton. Ball's not loose. Back to Millsap. And it's denied. Now, here's Junior. Guarded by Harris. Everly for three. Offensive rebound. Junior with it. Harris is there. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First free throw is good. George is checked in for Shake Milton. And both free throws good for Junior. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for Denver. He'll be playing host to Toronto for the next one. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Yeah, ball with the unique combination of height and skill. That's a challenge for any defender. The Nuggets have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. And typically a strength of theirs, 79% on the season. 131 left in the third. To the inside, here's Junior, and Junior throws it down. Well, Patrick Beverly defined mostly by his tremendous defense, but boy, is he finding people right now. Pretty pass. Leonard against Barton. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Here's Junior. It's hauled in by Harris. Denver's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. And the way they have controlled the glass this game, really impressive. And bottom line, more boards means more possessions. That's how you build a lead. Oh, what a pretty pass. Throw to the open spot. Lead your teammate perfectly. 
Morris kicks to Barton. 34 seconds left in the third quarter. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer. He'll head to the line. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Jokic, he's checked in for bowl. And he sinks the second. And he nails the third. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Now, here's Junior. Millsap covering. And the dunk by Zubac. A great feed, and that assist gives him a triple-double. You, you gotta love that kind of player. Able to get it done in just about every pass. Beverly against Morris. Six on the shot clock. Stolen by Zubac. One second left. Leonard lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Leonard's got five points now in the quarter. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers with a huge 37 point. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting about 59% from the floor offensively. They've been running without a hitch. A moment now to reset the lineups. Brought to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. So on the floor for Denver. Green is out there with Gary Harris. It's Najee in at the center, locking down the middle. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Doris, you and I know the quality of play in the NBA bubble was terrific. And some people have said a lack of travel, a possible reason why. The league, we think, looking at ways to reduce travel moving forward. Exactly, Kevin. And one option on the table is the, quote, series model. You see it in baseball, where you play consecutive games against the single opponent. So what about the states with multiple teams? New York or California? Can you play all of those teams in one trip? This not only preserves players, but it also cuts travel expenses, something the league is looking hard at. Here's Green, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Now that's where you like your shots to come from. Pass to Junior. It's stolen by Green. Fast break. Here we go. Good on the shot. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. And here is Los Angeles now. Broke loose. It's stolen by Green. And pushing it up. Here's Denver. Campazzo. That one no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Zubac trying to break loose. And again, it's the Clippers missing. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. Not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Now, here's Batum, guarded closer. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. To the wing on the left. Offline with his three. The Clippers have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Free throw good, Junior. And with small ball catching on, it's the rare team doors that looks to go big and play bully ball. Why hasn't that approach been more popular? Well, to me, Kevin, the NBA game is one that's in constant evolution. So right now, the emphasis is three-point shooting, free-throw opportunities, and restricted area opportunities. That seems to be the most efficient way to play the game of basketball. On the defensive end, what that requires is positionless players, guys in the post who can guard the perimeter, switchability, all the versatility you can bring to bear on the defensive end is significant and so that's why bully ball becoming harder and harder to play in today's NBA. Murray against Jackson. Oh. 
the feed to Junior. And his performance today, guys, is really a thing of beauty. A triple-double for him today. And then Porter with the jam. How about the strength from the big fella? Porter is used to having to power through contact. Free throw good, Porter. Here's Jackson. Passes to Junior. And it's blocked. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Jokic draws the double. Well, the pandemic impacting earnings all over the NBA doors, the pain is felt, we think, most keenly by small market teams. Across the board, Kevin, there are economic realities that the pandemic has forced NBA teams to look at. But always, those small market teams depend on revenue sharing to compete. So now attendance is compromised, and their ledger is affected even more. This is going to be interesting to see how this affects roster composition. Boy, we've got a lot of questions to be answered. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Nuggets have gone 6 to 13, so just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Campazzo, Kennard covering. And the call will be against Luke Kennard. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the Clippers making a switch here. Batum's checked in. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Gary Harris. And Harris drops them both. Now here's Jackson. To the paint. Here's Junior. And Junior throws it down. That's the efficiency you want to see from Jackson. Using his poise and vision to make a play. Here's the pass to Najee. Inside, Harris. Got a piece of it, and he gets it back. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for Los Angeles. Hilton the pass to Junior. To the inside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And since last season, Doris, a lot of coaching changes. Why do you think so many? Kevin, I think there's a lot of contributing factors. Some of it is ownership and front office changes. Whenever that happens, coaching changes are often the next shoe to drop. Aston Naji. Shot clock at six. Campazzo for rebound by Patterson. They've shared the load offensively. And guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react, and that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. Batum dishes to Junior, and Junior throws it down. You can see why they go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Denver calls timeout. And looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Here's Najee. No good on the quick three. And for the Clippers, they're shooting here in the fourth quarter around 41%. Junior, Green with the rebound. Denver shooting only 35% in the fourth quarter. The offense looking a little rickety. Harris inside, defended by Batum. 
They are enjoying a commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. My goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Ugh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. Green. They get the rebound. Dodgy, good. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Los Angeles. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And I think coming into this game, these guys felt they had the confidence to win. And looking at the season they've had already, 58 wins in the books. Tonight will be win number 59. And, and they've taken control of the season series. This brings them to 2-0 and oh with one game left against this squad. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Junior. Boy, I think you could pick about any area of this basketball game and feel like he excelled in it. He was a dominant figure at both ends of the floor and finishes with a triple-double. What an unbelievable performance. Harris passes to Naji. It's good. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. It's deflected. Another shot. Clearly a foul. And he knocks down the first one. He hits both from the stripe. 11 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's Junior. Yet another bucket. Make that 61 point. Yep, everything is going his way right now. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time here. So the Clippers winning this one easily. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort.